AI tools like large language models are revolutionizing the way we approach writing. But like with any tools, there is both opportunities and challenges. In this video, I go over 10 ways you can use AI in your writing and maximize the benefits while minimizing the risk. Idea generation. Imagine tapping into a brainstorming partner that never sleeps. AI can generate titles, suggestions for themes, etc., etc., without ever getting tired. Karim Lakani from Harvard calls it access to infinite cognition, at least until you hit the rate limit. For instance, asking for blog post ideas about renewable energy might yield angles that you would not have thought of. But beware, there is a fine line between inspiration and dependency. Over-relying on AI tools, at least in the current state of the technology, might mean that your content tends to be repetitive and generic. Writing assistance. Struggling with writer's block? AI can help draft introductions or structure an article. You can use it as a writing coach that will make suggestions that will boost your efficiency. But beware of relying on it too much or you will run the risk of making your style look uniform. Language improvement. For non-native speakers or those that refine their prose, AI suggestions of synonyms, rephrasing and grammar are invaluable. It can help you edit your piece of writing faster and more efficiently than before. It's a language laboratory at your fingertips. However, over-relying on it could slow down your language mastery. Content tailoring. AI's ability to rewrite in different styles and for different level of comprehension can make it a lot easier to tailor content for different audiences. However, there is a risk. Oversimplification and loss of depth could make your content lose its edge. Summarization. Ever needed the gist of a long document? AI is your summarizing superhero. AI can summarize long documents or collections of documents a lot faster than any human could. But don't let it dull your analytical skills as if you don't do the thinking, over time it becomes harder for you to do it. In addition, there is a fine line between a summary and oversimplification and current tools can sometimes miss nuances. Translation and localization. Crossing language barriers becomes a lot easier with AI. It opens up much larger audiences than before. But watch out for cultural nuances that AI might miss. At best, that is awkward, but it could also have much more serious consequences. SEO optimization. If you produce online content, SEO is key. AI can help you identify keywords that are relevant for the type of writing you're doing online. Overemphasis on keywords can lower the quality of your content. This is also an area in which the line between optimizing and abusing the algorithms that do the ranking is blurry. Feedback and analysis. Do you want feedback? AI can give you feedback on anything you write. It can help you clarify and strengthen your argument. But keep your critical thinking hat on when you do this and specifically fact check everything as all of the current tools are still subject to hallucinations. Interactive writing. This one is just for fun. You can easily create an AI driven narrative this is a new frontier in storytelling in which AI allows you to create something akin to the classic adventure books. Educational tools. AI can simplify complex topics, making learning fun and accessible. But over-dependence on AI means that the educators lose control of what the students learn. This is still risky because the current tools have a tendency to hallucinate. This could obviously impact the student's experience. So there you have it. AI opens a world of possibility, but there are also pitfalls and challenges that you need to be aware of. Embrace the digital muse, but don't lose your voice in the echo of algorithms. If you want to continue improving your writing, 
why not check out this video on writing tips that I put together. See you there. Also, do not forget to let me know how you've used AI in your own work in the comments below. Bye for now.